and I've been living out of a suitcase since May 2019. I make new videos every Monday all about travel and my adventures. If that sounds like something that you would be interested in, click that subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Today I am talking about my top five things to do in the Cowichan Valley on Vancouver Island. The Cowichan Valley is located on southern Vancouver Island between Victoria and Nanaimo. There are so many cool swim spots in the Cowichan Valley. And the water tends to be warm because it's all fresh water and the Cowichan Valley is kind of a heat trap so I found the weather a lot warmer than Tofino and Victoria. The main city in the Cowichan Valley is Duncan. Vancouver Island locals like to call it Drunken Duncan, but I lived there for a month and I really, really like the town. It's super cute and has everything you need. The downtown is very small, but it's really cute to walk around. There's lots of little stores, cafes, and thrift shops. My favorite cafe is the Garage. If you are in Duncan, definitely check out this cafe. They have a lot of like organic ingredients, a lot of vegan options. They have some really cool stuff. They like make their own ketchup and jams. And it's just a really nice atmosphere to sit down and relax as well. Duncan is also the city of totem poles. So there are tons of totem poles. I'm also sorry if there's a lot of background noise in this video. I'm parked near downtown Kelowna and kind of near the highway. This is the quietest spot I could find. But yeah, enough of me rambling, let's get into the video. <laughs> Number five is tube down the Cowichan River. This is probably my favorite thing that I did and it's probably one of the most popular things to do in the Cowichan Valley. The Cowichan River, you can tube down it for two and a half to three hours and it's so relaxing. You just sit in your tube and float down. I saw people all tied together with ropes and then also had floaties with coolers on them with like drinks and snacks. It's $20 to rent a tube at the Tube Shack, but I just bought a tube from Walmart. I think it was around like $25, but then I could use it for the whole summer. So you're allowed to bring your own tubes as well. And it's $10 for the shuttles. If you park your car at the beginning, you can take the shuttle at the end of the river and it will just drive you back up to where you park your car. But if you're going with friends, one of you could just park your car at the end and then one of you park your car at the beginning. Number four is Mount Prevost. It's a really nice mountain northwest of Duncan. There's a beautiful view at the top. You can see Mount Baker. You can see all of Duncan and all the Valley Mountains. It's, oh my God, so beautiful. We did this at sunset and it just looked amazing. It's accessed from Drinkwater Road. I'll put a link to a blog post that theoutbound.com made because it has a very detailed description of how to get to the trailhead. You can, if you have four wheel drive, drive pretty much all the way up the mountain and then it's just a five minute walk to the viewpoint which is what I did or you can hike up the whole thing starting from the bottom and it's about an 11 kilometer round trip. Next is Stony Hill Trail Loop. This is a nice short heavily trafficked trail loop in North Cowichan and it's about 3.7 kilometers in total so it's pretty easy and short and you kind of hike the trail around a cliff and you get some amazing views of Salt Spring Island. Number two is the quarry. This is recently shut down, so I'm not sure if they reopened it yet, so keep your eye out for that. But this is such a beautiful swim spot. The color of the water is so amazing. It's so blue and clear. The story, I think, is they were digging and they hit a pipeline and it filled up with water. So it is kind of, it looks super deep. So on you can't really walk into it. It's just kind of boulder rocks along the side and then you can just jump in. It's near uh, Shawnigan Lake area. It's not the best for kids because it's kind of cliffy when you're walking down and on the weekend it kind of tends to be a little party -y with like a lot of teenagers. I don't know if I'm going to pronounce it right. Cuxilla. Cuxilla <laughs> River Provincial Park. This is a nice little swim spot and it's kind of a local hidden gem. I don't think it's very touristy at all. This one is also located near Shawnigan Lake area as well. And it has a lot of nice little cliffs for like all levels to jump into the water. You can also kind of swim down the river. And if you're feeling very daring, there's also a bridge that's pretty high that you can jump off of as well. So those are my top five things to do in the Cowichan Valley. I hope they give you some ideas next time you visit. I absolutely love this place, like I say, with every place on Vancouver Island. If I didn't do work away there, I probably would have just drove right through it. 
So I'm really glad that I had the chance to actually explore the area. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Oh my God, that's way fucking scary. What can you do when you live in a shoe? Well, when you live in a minivan.